I think we're live. Do your intro thingy and keep me on camera. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Shauna. Mm -hmm. Hi. You can't see me, but I'm, whoa, way over here. Hi, I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts. As we all know, I've been having a lot of problems with my voice. So instead of doing a wreath or painting or anything like that, Sorry, Red is going to do some cooking for us, so yay us. Um, so let's get started. I hope you guys like it. And if you hear me cracking up or choking, well, <laughs> that's part of what the doctors are calling. Believe it or not, they're saying it's all caused by asthma, but then I have a specialist that says it's not. So we will be heading to some major specialists here real soon. Anyways, let's have some fun and let's make some, what are we making? French macaroons. French macaroon cookies? No, pastries. Pastries. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining us today. Here's Red. Okay. So Sorry. you're going to eat a bunch of stuff. I have no clue what that is. So first, you're going to need a one... Three fourths cup of powdered sugar, which we had. One cup of almond flour, which this stupid town does not have. <laughs> one teaspoon of salt, but you have to divide it very carefully. The French are very meticulous. Three egg whites, which I hate. Uh, one fourth a cup of granulated sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla uh, extract. And two drops of pink gel food coloring. We don't have gel, so we're going to use this. That's for the most part. We're going okay. to use the liquid, even though we're not supposed to. It just won't be as vibrant. Then for the inside, the buttercream, we need one cup of unsalted butter, three cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three tablespoons. I just put that right up against you. I'm so sorry. Of heavy whipping cream. Oh, I know. Sorry, guys. Did not mean to do that one. Okay. And also you're going to need these so you can eat them because you'll get bored. <laughs> Is that what those are for? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, Buckeye. So I pretty much already... I'll invite you in, but you'll have to come in. I understand. all this stuff. Remember, there's going to be a large echo. I don't know how to do it anyways. Um, so we already oh, my throat. the salt... <coughs> A half a teaspoon of salt, the one cup of, we're going to pretend this is almond flour flour, and the other thing, one and three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. Hi, Melissa. Stop talking. I know. Okay. So the recipe says to put all of that together, just mix it up. This is a French one, still pronounced macaroon in French, just with a little bit more. So then after that, second step, in a separate large bowl, oh yay, we need another one. Red, turn off the washer so they can hear. Brooklyn, I'm still having a lot of problems with my throat, honey. Okay. <laughs> At least I can talk today. Got the bowl. This is our other large bowl because we ran out of them. <laughs> we have a medium okay. bowl. Now look. And then she's trying to get everything we need together. Three egg whites. We need a bottle. We need Why? A bottle. We need eight eggs. Okay, then we'll do this. Hi, Johnny. Welcome. That's what I have to do. Nasty stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot your spoon. Where's the bottle? Do you have a bottle? Okay. So I need to separate the first nasty stuff from the second. 
if you don't like eggs, guys, in case you're wondering. Oh no, Brooklyn. That's not good. I'm going on almost two weeks. No, oh, no, it broke. No, wrong ball, wrong ball. Okay. She really, really, really hates eggs. <laughs> Oops, here you go. Sorry. Okay, well, as I continue to fill this, we have one left. She's having a very hard time separating eggs. I have never ever seen her have problems separating eggs. Because I don't have a bottle. <laughs> it's usually so much easier with like a water bottle and you can just take the yolk out. But I don't have one. Magic. Magic. I won't tell you what y'all what it looks like. Nasty. That's what it looks like. Okay. <coughs> I gotta look away, I gotta call off. Need the other half of a teaspoon? We're gonna call that half. Because I don't know where my things are. Right there in front of you. Other ones. Where's my stupid whisk? We're using the same whisk. I don't care. Okay, it says beat these even though there's really no point. Okay, how long do we have to make this season? Okay. Until soft peaks form. Nice. Sure. <laughs> Child. Okay. Then we need to add one fourth cup of granulated sugar after soft peaks form. So we are looking for an entire mountain range in our bowl. Peaks. Let me know if you see peaks. It does a little know. It just looks like nasty salty eggs. So we're going to call that bubble right there a mountain. That is our Alyssa peak. says you need a mixer. I have one. I just hate them. Okay. Now we need the fourth of a cup of granulated sugar. And apparently we're going to do the whole blizzard thing. Right, that's who does it. You order an ice cream and they guarantee you that if they can turn it upside down and stuff falls off and you get a refund. Yeah, we're doing that today. So what was that? Right. It's about a fourth of a cup of regular sugar. Because other sugar is done. Okay, now I have to mix this until it's so... Well, it says, says it's 20 minutes by hand. Hi, Patty. Welcome. <coughs> so, do you think if I pour this upside down, would anything come out? Huh? Never mind. It's what we're looking for. It'll run all over the place. Oh, I'm not talking. You hook this up, I can mix it. You, what's going next step? This is the next step. Ooh, like my missa said, 20 minutes go.
I've used it, it's covered in stuff. And in storage. <laughs> Days. Hey, Melissa, you're having a you're having <laughs> you're having a hard time out there on the road. Yesterday, I decided to do something to my arm. I don't have a clue. Oh God! Yeah. I didn't do that. Turn it off before you plug well, it in, child. Plugs in. I don't use it. Yeah, I Yuck. Thank you. All right. Hang on. Don't get your hair in it. It's up in a bun today. <laughs> she got smoke. Oh. Johnny's right. Is that done? No. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. Nor my messy house. I haven't felt well enough to do anything. Oh, Johnny's right. I did fall off a ladder. That's how I hurt my arm. Lovely. Get ready? How long? How long? Okay, well, what's the next step? Putting this in, you know, it says not to. <laughs> Alrighty then, child. Maybe it's done. I'm not even close. It was just getting up my nerves. <laughs> you know, for a kid that doesn't like to do things exactly as recipe says, they sure turn out so good. I'm going to try to mix it again by hand. So what did you go ahead and mix in now? I mixed a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and two drops of red food coloring. Okay, we're gonna make it four actually because it won't turn out that vibrant since it's liquid. Is a food coloring just for fun? No. Well, yeah, but it's pretty. Okay. Oh, look at that. It looks like a motor scene in my bowl. <laughs> Remain that vibrant, but I just added extra. Just in case. I think that's okay. pretty. It says 
Continue to be. Hey, guys, I wonder if we can paint with that. What do you guys think? Would it work? No, it would be disgusting. <laughs> add about one third of the sifted amount of flour at a time to the beaten eggs. Okay. Oh, we need a spatula to fold. <laughs> Got my spatula to fold things. So I can get rid of this nasty stuff. Okay, because that isn't gonna do much more. Oh yeah, I have to fold at the same time. How do you fold this in? There is no folding, it's just mid scene. These macaroons are gonna be like a liquid. Bye, Brooklyn. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Better. Want me to do that? Pop. I solved it. Oh, you solved it. <laughs> now this is the part that can make this naturally. Okay. Going back to the mixer, guys. Let's hopefully. <clears throat> Hopefully your ears don't get killed. I'm gonna try not to lose you guys. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hook the camera up here. Okay, well that looks fun. No, I need the rest of it. Bad, did I just lose everybody? I'm trying to put your phone in here because it's just killing my own. I can't hold it. Let me see. Sorry guys. Alright, hopefully. I don't know why it's coming in. Bear with us guys, I'm trying to mount, I'm trying to mount this to the, the holder so I don't have to use my arm and try to hold it. Let's see, hopefully, never not. Okay, Red, my arm won't let me do this, honey. Oh, the whole thing's gonna fall and break your phone. Mm -hmm. It came undone on this side. Is screw no, it just got hit. This little thing's supposed to hold your phone. And my arm, because I messed it up, will not let me turn it. Okay, you take your phone. Let me see if I can put this okay. in. Excuse my hand. I didn't get my nails done. Oh. Okay. I got it there now. <laughs> Sorry, I tried. So, for not listening to the recipe, I think it did sort of okay. But then again, I've never made it before. So, I really can't be the judge of it. And now, after that... That was good. And then it says, continue to do this until you can make a figure eight out of it. It's just, it's just hard. That's all it is. Okay, 
Well, that did not work. Ooh, yes. Got it. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Sometimes things don't work out the way you plan, and that's okay, too. Sometimes things don't work out at all, and I think this may be one of them. I think it looks really good, though. So. Okay, until I can make... Okay, so we're almost to the ribbon point of it. How come I can't find you? Although it's stuck. It's very stuck. It's not showing... Do what you can do. I can't find it. There you go. I think that was a very pretty color. It is pretty cool. That's making cookies. Yes. No, it looks like frosty. That's fine. Hi, Mel. Welcome. Use a spoon. Because I'm sure it will work out. Mel says hello, sweetie. Hi, Mel. Okay, so we need to make this into. Well, it's pretty much a dough. Oh no, it's too sticky to use my hands. Oh. Let me bring this over here with you, baby. Okay, hang on, guys. She's over here. <laughs> I just want this over here, here. There you go. Okay, I feel like I'm Brandon Ferris. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Mine's me of bubblegum. I hate bubblegum. So we're making the ends of the cookie, I guess you could call it. Maybe I should lower my hands like a gymnast. And I think I've already come to a conclusion based on this. The only way I'm ever going to get actual macarons is to go to Paris. <laughs> she wanted she wanted to try this recipe because she wanted Paris macarons. And I don't think she likes the recipe too much. This can also be a whole case craft sort of thing because I got the recipe also off of that stupid Facebook page called Tasty. It ain't stupid. It's a good page. Depends on how you look at it. <laughs> so we're testing one of their recipes and we can see if it actually sucks. Because they just released a cookbook and I don't want to pay money for it if it doesn't work. Do uh, so you guys got into cooking she's thinking about buying a cookbook. Not really. For a cookbook, it's called Google. That is my cookbook. It's universal too, and you can't ruin the pages. This is my magic macaroon. Okay. If anybody says different, they're lying. <laughs> because this is magic macaroon. Sometimes she gets a little frustrated, guys, when something doesn't work out. But that's okay. I think we all do, actually, to be honest with you. God, I know I do. I know you do. Take your time. I think it looks cool. Whether or not it worked out perfectly, and you can't judge the recipe because, you know, you didn't follow it exactly because they didn't have one mixture. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, quit playing with it. Go to the next. I'm trying to get it at least <laughs> halfway accurate. It's okay. I also want them to cook so I can try a pink. No, oh, cookie, cookie. They're not cookies. They're not cookies. A macaroon, whatever. I want to try one. <clears throat> you quit talking. Yes, you do. It's not perfect. It's okay. Things sometimes are not perfect. That's why you get along with my teacher, Susan. <laughs> I like Susan. Me too. She's an excellent teacher. Yep. Mel, I still have problems with my throat and my voice. It's getting a lot better. It's not as so much pain that I just want to scream. Well, I couldn't scream if I tried earlier. Yesterday it got where well, I can actually <clears throat> speak some. Today it's a little more squeaky than normal. But before I had absolutely nothing coming out of my mouth when I try to talk. Good thing I sign, huh? <laughs> Too bad no one around here but me can read it. Made it interesting. Been to two specialists already and heading to another. And then I couldn't, my arm was killing me. I can't remember how I hurt my arm. And then Johnny reminded me. I fell off a stupid ladder. So now I'm getting x rays on my arm. Okay. Johnny said they are perfect. Okay, what do you do now? Sorry. Hi, Anna. Do they go in the oven, bed? No, they have to dry. Oh. Well, they will never dry sitting on something that's hot. Let's sit them over here. Okay, what's next? An empty bowl. Let's see, let's see if I can hook this back up here, guys. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Wait, all Claudia? Cool. And it says tap the baking sheet on the flat surface five times to release air bubbles. Yeah, Okay, I brought the thing over here red because we can hold it. Let the macaroni sit at room temperature for 30 minutes until dry. Okay, preheat the oven, which we did. Bake the macarons for 17 minutes. They're actually almost dry. Okay, make the butter cream. In a large bowl, add the butter and beat with a mixer. Okay. So you need one cup of butter. And I am out of bowl, so I'm using the same one, which is not for anything. Oh, okay. Until you get the one cup of butter. Okay. Oh, I don't think they can see anything like that. This is what I mean by this fell down, honey. I can't. Okay. I can't tighten it. It's fine. I'm going to it. I'll try. I'll try. I want them to be able to see what you're doing. Okay, one cup of 
of butter, which is the equivalent to two steps of approximately. I'll just hold it to go. They have a right to see if they want to be here. At least let them see. There you go, honey. Okay, how much butter? One cup. One cup of butter. <laughs> it's okay. Things fall. Oh, cool. Claudette says she's going to teach your granddaughters how to make these. Mm. Very nice. That looks good. I know it's just butter, but it looks good. Mm. Hi, Carol. Okay. Powdered sugar. Three cups of powdered sugar. Never <laughs> Also, we Until one of my doctors said everything with my throat is caused <clears throat> from my asthma. But then a specialist that I had to go to is saying something totally different. So he is sending me to two other specialists to find out what's going on. This needs to be removed so I can wash this to put that in. Okay. Okay, what are we doing? Right now, what are you getting? Approximately three cups of powdered sugar. I'm mixing oh. it with the one cup of butter, which is going to be torture. I can clean that out for you. I just... <laughs> Do you like help? Yeah, I love powdered sugar, guys. I make this best apple cake. She don't like it. Oh my god, I love it. I put powdered sugar on top. It's paradise. Okay, you make, so you have to ahead. mix in the three cups of powdered sugar. And with the butter, I'm doing one cup at a time because three would be torture. So one cup. This is two cups. Currently. Hold this. I'll mix real fast. Hmm? Hold it. I'll mix. Because it's stuck on the edge. That's fine. Just don't pull your sugar. Got two hands. Okay. Verse two. Okay. She's like, Mom, don't do it. <laughs> Reading our comments, Johnny said that his aunt used to make these and ginger snaps, and they were the best ever. Come this way, baby. Never made those either. In case you haven't noticed, this is my first time making this, so. Patience is probably required. <laughs> At least not for me. Oh, God, that looks good. Okay, then after those. Don't tell nobody. Don't touch! No, that piece of butter. Let me try this thing. Add in one mm. teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's good. Because it's frosty. I love frosty. It's not technically frosty. It's buttercream. When do those go in the oven? When they're dry. Okay. Okay, and then after that, we 
mix in that, and then three tablespoons, right, yeah, of heavy whipping cream, which we also had to buy because we're not one of those people that have whipping cream on demand. <laughs> Since we are short on time, I'm going to put these in the oven. They're probably not supposed to look like this, but I'm going to say they do. <laughs> they look like pop -a 17 minutes. Then we have more. Yippee. <laughs> You'll like them once they're done. I made them. I won't like them. <laughs> okay, she's getting... What are you getting? Whipping cream. We need three tablespoons of it one at a time, which seems like it's stupid. So I'm gonna do three at a time. This is really thick. And no, I've never used whipping cream before either. Uh, uh, I bet that makes it better now. Desired consistency. But I don't know what your desired consistency is. That's good. Hi, Tomiko. You guys, last night, or oh, the night before, Red made, well, how do you say that word? Red. Red Ratatouille. Oh my god, it was so good. It was all fresh and everything, it was delicious. Bad. Tastes like sugar. <laughs> Jamaica's okay. on now. Hi, Jamaica. So well, that's something that I shall put up. That. Clean up as you go. There you go. How are you, Jamaica? I know. I had a clean fingers. I promise. I washed them. Had to try it though. But nobody but us will eat it, so it's okay. All right. What are you doing? Oh, I see what you're saying. You take this and talk to everybody and explain the recipe. I'll clean all that up. That's the least I can do. I'm doing something to talk about to an antisocial person. Where you guys been? Um, Mom has had a lot of problems with her throat. She lost her voice for quite some time recently. So we've been off of lives and stuff. We're back, sort of. She still can't talk, but I can, and it was just a recipe that I wanted to make either way. This way. So. This way. And then this, of course, is. Um, I'll go over what exactly the recipe says. So first, the ingredients. You need one and three fourths of a cup of powdered sugar. But that's good, Tomiko. Uh, I'm glad. 
uh, one cup of almond flour, but we did not have almond flour because we live in a horrible town. Oh, yeah, it's kind of close. It's not turned it on. There's a button on the back. So we used regular flour. Uh, then you need one teaspoon of salt, which you divide. Three egg whites, nasty things. Uh, one fourth cup of granulated sugar. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Two drops of pink gel food coloring. Uh, Tamiko says, hope you feel better. Thank you, Tamiko. She says, thank you, Tamiko. <laughs> but we didn't have gel, so we used liquid. But using liquid will end up with a very faded shade. So I used four drops instead of the recommended two. Yeah, I do like cooking. Originally, my plan was to go into culinary but that kind of ended i'm now going into music and english so i still enjoy cooking and i really love baking and now one of my nieces wants to go into baking so i'm really excited we're gonna do some recipes and stuff when they're here um then after that for the buttercream you need one cup of unsalted butter, which is approximately two sticks at room temperature. Three cups of powdered sugar, which is way too much if you ask me. One teaspoon of vanilla extract and three tablespoons of heavy cream. So that's what we did and that's what we got. I have also debated putting food coloring in this just because it would be cool. Um, let's go over what it actually required. To make the macaroons in the bowl of, or of a, a food processor, combine the powdered sugar, almond flour, or regular flour, and half a teaspoon of salt, and process on a low speed until etched or fine. Stir the almond flour mixture through a fine mesh sleeve in a larger bowl. Which I didn't have to Oh, that's awesome, Tamiko! Congratulations! She said she's going to culinary school in August. Oh my god, she's a good cook, man. She should go. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Okay, and then for the second step, in a separate large bowl, beat the eggs and the other half to sneak a teaspoon of salt with an electric mixer, or if you're like me, anything else. Until soft peaks form. I don't know what that is exactly, really, so. Gradually add the granulated sugar until fully incorporated, continue to beat until stiff peaks form. So you should be able to turn the bowl upside down like at Blizzard and their commercials. And if anything falls out, you're doing it wrong. What culinary school are you going to? So then you add the vanilla and beat until incorporated. Add the food coloring and beat just until incorporated. Add about half or one third of the shifted almond flour mixture at a time to the beaten egg whites. Use a spatula to fold in. After the last is combined, continue to fold until the batter falls into a ribbon type thingamabob. And you can make a figure eight while holding the spatula up. Oops, that will good dog. Uh, put four dots of the batter in each corner of a baking sheet so you can put, um, parchment paper and use the batter on the corners to hold it down. I do not do that. I use oil because I don't like parchment paper. I always make it burn. To make glass if you like cooking. I already answered. Okay. Pipe the macaroons onto the parchment paper and about a one half inch three centimeter circles spacing at least one to two centimeters apart. Tap the baking sheet on a flat surface five times to release any air bubbles. Let the macaroons sit at room temperature for 30 minutes to one hour until dry to the touch. I also do not do that. But they were relatively dry. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know they had one. Fresno. Oh. Uh, preheat the oven to 300 Fahrenheit or 150 Celsius. 
Bake the macaroons for 17 minutes until they're well risen and the macaroons don't stick to the parchment paper. Transfer the macaroons to a wire rack to cool before adding the filling. Make the buttercream in a large bowl by adding the butter and beat with the mixer for about one minute until it's light and fluffy and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sift in the powdered sugar, which was three cups, and beat until fully incorporated. Add the vanilla and beat to combine. Add the cream, one tablespoon at a time. I did not do that because it's a waste of my time. And beat to combine so... until desired consistency is reached. It did not specify <laughs> what consistency I desired. So I went with... A random one. Transfer the buttercream to a piping bag with a round tip. Again, I have no clue where mine is. So we're just going to hope for the luck of the Irish to be upon us or something. Add a dollop of the buttercream to... See, I can do a dollop. That's doable. A buttercream, like the dollop of Daisy. To one macaroon shell, top it with the other shell to create a sandwich. Repeat with the remaining. Place in an airtight container for 24 hours to bloom or whatever. Enjoy. Also, I'm not going to let it sit for 24 hours because I don't have that kind of patience. So, we're just going to see what happens. This is a spoon it. Sorry, my sister texts me. If my phone goes off like that, it's because um, either my sister or my friend is texting me. Or because I text them and my phone's weird. <laughs> okay, so this is... Is it done? It's pretty... Uh, it's kind of boring. Oops, sorry. If you make my girl right, you stop it. Okay, I have six minutes left on the timer. <laughs> As I almost drop it and do be better. <laughs> How about you take the phone? Okay. <laughs> Can we check them out see if they're done? No, there's six minutes left. So, guys. It's not done. Yeah. We actually got six minutes and we wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So, okay, what have you guys been up to? What have you been cooking? I know school's out. So, the children and grandchildren are out there wanting to make things. So what are you guys making? If your answer's tea, then you're really not correct. <laughs> She's a tea drinker, guys. Where is the culinary school in Fresno at, Jamico? No oh. That's awesome. I like my little tray of moves that Red makes me. A little island. <laughs> All right, guys. We got the six minutes. You want to tell them what? Oh, I guess it's candy time. Not for me. Sorry. Okay, we do have extra batter. Okay. What are you going to do with the extra batter? That's too much oil, but I don't care. <laughs> Aren't I nice? You're tired. I am always tired. I'm taking college courses and they are exhausting. Really exhausting. How's the kids doing, Tomiko? It's just one really big macaroon. That's okay. My old pan.
Those were my Aunt Dorothy's pants. No, it's not. We just got this. No, that ain't the one we just yes, got. Yes, it is. It looks like that already? Yeah. You cook a lot? Yes. <laughs> These are more than one and a half inches. It's okay. But I don't care. I'm gonna eat them anyways. <coughs> Perhaps our neighbor would like a macaroni. Oh, I'm sure. Probably not. He just looked at us like we're stupid. No, he wouldn't. Well, you never know. <laughs> He's a good guy. I know. So is this one. Yes. Very nice people. You guys, if you're commenting, my computer has frozen. So frankly, I don't know if you guys are still there. I hope you are. She's almost finished. And I'm trying to get my computer to come back up, but no. Two oh, minutes and 59 trying. seconds. Okay, three minutes, guys. Hang in there. Three minutes. Oh God. They look like bubblegum. I still hate bubblegum. <laughs> okay, they should not be that close, but they are. It's okay. And I still have leftover stuff. That's creepy, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. And that was my arm. <laughs> okay. There we go. Now we got a better view. Okay. Two minutes. I'm going to invite a friend into her life. Who? Um, the one in India. She oh, always no. asks. Do not do that. Why? That's... Mm -mm. She never does it. She never comes on, guys. Oh, I thought you meant you were actually going to put her on alive. Oh, no, I wouldn't do that to her. No way. I just I wanted her. She asked what know. I'm doing. So I thought I would invite her to come in and see. She's a nice lady. No, I would never bring her on. She wouldn't know how to use the phone anyways. She tells me all the time she has problems with using a phone, just like I do. So probably why we're good friends. <laughs> Technology is totally Greek to us both, so yay. I don't know. Might have a better chance at learning Greek. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to stick you on the computer there. I was trying to get it to work. <laughs> it's okay, Ray. Go ahead and check that. I have 58. 58 seconds, guys. Just 58 seconds. Actually, the dough is quite good. It looks like bubblegum. Does it taste like bubblegum? No. It tastes like cookies. Cool. <laughs> the French has it figured out. Johnny. Okay. okay guys, we're gonna get them out. Well she is. I don't know the ham. I'm not. Go ahead and get one out and let's see how to finish this up so that I know wow. I didn't even know it had a lot on it. Yep. Okay, bring it buddy over there. Watch out, baby. Okay, guys. Oh, he just came out of the oven and I touched yeah. it. Brilliant. Okay, so we have to wait for them to cool. Which we're not going to do on a live because it'd be like watching paint dry. <laughs> Go ahead and frost one. Let's try it so they we know what can't. it's like. Okay, then. Alright, guys, so. Oh, good. I'm glad you're still there, Tomiko. They look pretty good. What do you think, Tomiko? You're the chef. 
You don't need to be a chef to make macaroni. You need to be a baker. She says she's cooking. Well, that's what I meant. Jimmy cooks very good. Alright, let's see what they look like. The I'm sorry, no, my dirty stove. I shouldn't say dirty because it's not dirty, it's actually ruined. It's permanently stained. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you think, Red? What do I think? I think oh. I'm very tired. I want to go <laughs> my voice. Alright, guys. So I also think that you probably should not use oil, but I did. So it looks like a regular cookie. Okay. Actually, it looks better than the cookies I always make. So, and they have a very interesting detail to them. Tamiko asked if this is your first time making these cookies. Oh yeah, I've never made them before. These are nice. They look nice. Thank you. Here's Okay, they needed to cool first, so. <laughs> the frosting is so good, guys. It looks good, too. Alright, guys. On that, <clears throat> what you do next is apparently let them dry. And then you go ahead and put your frosting, <coughs> excuse me, and everything on them. And then totally enjoy. When she has them all done and frosted, we'll take a photo and post it. But we'll go ahead and let you guys go for now. And thank you so much for joining us and bearing with us. And I hope that you do make these with your children and grandchildren and have fun. You can make them multicolored too. Just have fun with it. And with that note, as always, be blessed.